Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming, bringing you a guide on how to get the G-Horn in Destiny, Rise of Iron. Now, I will be showing you all the different steps. It starts off, though, with this quest called Beauty and Destruction. That is the G-Horn quest. Now, I'm going to show you all the different locations of the medallions and the Siva fragments that I got. I'll show you how to get there. I'm not going to cut anything uh, because I know some people get frustrated with that. Now, I know by showing all of that, though, some other people aren't going to like that. So I put timestamps in the video description so that you can kind of skip around and just just skip ahead to everything so that you don't have to watch that just in case you do know where to go but if you don't you know stay tuned i will show you everything now the first two things that you have to do are just talk to these two people saladin and then this lady and then it's on to getting the medallions now i'm still at Felwinter's pink all right and what you need to do is the first one or one of them you don't have to do these in any particular order is up here on the rocks so you'll see a little indicator right above my head right at the top middle of the screen anytime you get close to these medallions you get an indicator which is really nice for them to do that but that will show you where to go and where you need to pick up the medallions and I'm having a little trouble jumping up here but I've got my son Big E with me and I was actually showing him how to actually get the G horn I already had one and I was just uh, showing him how to get it and so I ended up picking up another one you can pick up multiple one per character so here is the first medallion though it looks like a wolf's head and you can see it in the snow right there and actually you can hit X on the Xbox to collect it and whatever it is on the PlayStation so that's the first one now the second one we're gonna go to the earth and we're gonna go into the plague lands so just hop on that there and head into the plague lands now this is right as soon as you spawn you're gonna head on over to the right this is Lord's watch and you're gonna get an indicator watch on my screen on the right hand side of my screen see it pop up right there on the far right there it is there is the second one or another one in here so this is the medallion at Lord's watch all right, so we're going to collect that, and then we'll move on to the next ones. And the next one is to the right. All right, so uh, just head on out of here over to the right. We headed to the right from the spawn to get to that one. Just keep heading on to the right, and we're going to Giant's Husk. Basically, there's a big loop that you can go around this uh, with some other places, but for the most part, there's just one big loop, except for uh, the last one that I'll show you. But All right, so we're heading out over here to Giant's Husk and basically what you want to look for is as soon oh loading screen soon as you see a big building on the left hand side right here see that big building on the left hand side then you're going to know you want to go up the rocks on the right hand side and this is going to look really familiar when because uh, you already did this on a story mission you already went up there there's where the cargo containers are and you might have even seen this wolf's medallion up there while you're doing that so just climb these rocks though and head up here and get this medallion now it's right along these containers on the right hand side when you come up here there's the building to the left just for some reference and then you're gonna get the indicator watch straight ahead of my screen top there's that little indicator all right, so there's uh, medallion number two. Now, for medallion number three, we're going to go to the bunker trig lag or whatever it's called, and we're going to head back the way we just came. And we're going in this direction just because it just makes sense uh, geographically, map-wise, to do it in this sense because we can hit them all along the way. So we're going to head back, like I said, past Lord's Watch to Bunker Trig Lag, and then we'll, we'll go right there. Remember, you can check out the video description and skip ahead if you know where Bunker Trig Lag is and avoid all of this time. All right, so now we're getting into the area where we just spawned. The first medallion is in that building right there. That was the first medallion. This is where we spawned, and we're going to head straight this way to Bunker Trig Lag. Hopefully I'm not saying that wrong, or hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> All right, and Biggie, I think he wrecked his sparrow. So I was taking Biggie with me, and you can get more than one of these G-Horns. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure once you get one, you can probably buy additional ones in the weapon kiosk at the tower. But just in case. Now, at Bunker Trig Lag, there's this big building here right in front of us. You don't go, want to go in that building. It's actually the building to the right. So I'm going to get behind cover and get my health back a little bit here. So 
So head on over to the right. And as soon as you get in this doorway, it's right on the right, um, sorry, right to the left. So come in here, head on to the left, you're gonna get the indicator, and there it is. I was thinking about the, uh, the Steven fragment that we'll get later here, but I'll show you that later. All right, so there's the next one. Now we're just gonna wanna continue on. So if we go out of this building and head to the left, that's the direction that we just came from, but we're gonna head to the right and just follow this circle around. So just head straight forward till you get to the path and then uh, jump on your sparrow and head to the right. And I think the next one is Forgotten Pass. It's right on a bridge. So you're just gonna follow this around to a bridge. You can skip ahead if you want in the video. There's the bridge. Right at the start of the bridge, you're gonna get a little indicator. So yeah, Forgotten Pass. And there's the little indicator right there. You can jump off. Sometimes you can't see it unless you uh, kind of squat down. Like, so there it is. You can barely see it. It's kind of got a glowed tint to it, a gold tint to it. All right, so then we're gonna head around to the next place. Just keep heading in the same direction that you're heading. And we'll get to the next medallion. This one I believe is at Archon's Keep, and then we'll go inside Archon's Keep to Site 6. That's why I like heading in this direction. I think it's easier than trying to go from one to another and back and everything like that. It just kind of makes sense map-wise. All right, so here's Archon's Keep. As soon as you see that building, it's to the left of the building in a rubble pile. So there's the indicator. And this is the next to last one, if I can pick it up. Now for the last one, we need to head to site six, and that's inside this building right here. All right, so just head on inside. You wanna head into the left tunnel. And this is gonna be familiar if you, because you played through the story as well. But there's only one way to go. So keep heading through. Here's where Archon's Forge is. And you want to head through this area and then just down this way once again there's really only one way that you can go so head on to the right this is the Warrens and we're gonna head into the left as soon as we get in this cavernous area down this way all right as soon as you get into this room this is site six and you're gonna head kind of straight ahead and then to the left you don't even have to fight these guys maybe throw a couple grenades just to get them off your back and then it's right up here in the left hand corner there's the indicator all right so this is the final medallion you need after you pick this up then you can go right to orbit and head back to fell winter's peak you got to talk to uh is it tira or tyra i'm gonna get to the next step and for this one we're gonna need to do the uh, mission a symbol of honor so go back to orbit go back to the earth and then look for the mission and you should get an indicator it's in the top left hand side a symbol of honor now as soon as you get here you're gonna recognize this as banner fall um, the only thing that I'm gonna show you in this mission is there's gonna be two areas that you have to defend on each side of the map there's uh, and you can see the defend you got a countdown timer it helps if you have other people with you for this step because it is a little bit hairy but after you defend both areas then you're gonna have to take on um, a kind of like Archon priest like person right there so he's by the tree though you'll get an indicator where you need to go 
And with two people, this isn't a problem. With one person, you just gotta take it a little bit slower. But with two people, you can just really mow through this and get this done fast. So here's the end of that though. I'm just kind of finishing them off with some rockets. All right, now once you finish them, then it is back to orbit and then back to Fellwinter's Peak. You're gonna to talk to this lady, the Cryptarch lady. She's gonna give you the next quest. Now you might already have this done. If you already have five SIVA fragments, you can actually just, you'll go to the very next step and you'll just talk to uh, Lord Saladin. But if you don't, I'm just gonna show you five that I could think of real quick. All right, so as soon as you spawn in, you're going down to the Plague Lands, as soon as you spawn in, Look for this pile right over here of this uh, webbing and SIVA stuff and everything like that. What is that guy doing right there? But uh, right in here, there's an easy one to find right here. So there's one SIVA fragment. For the next one, and, and there are probably more than I'm driving past and seeing. These are the ones that I could remember early on. I had to switch to another character because I actually skipped this step um, and went and talked to Lord Saladin. But I know there's another one to the right here. This is back the way that we first came for the second medallion when we went up on the uh, area, up the uh, rocks to the container area. But if you just keep following this around, eventually you're going to find a boat. And at the front of that boat, and this is Giant Husk, at the front of that boat, you'll see another SIVA fragment. And remember, if you already have your SIVA fragments, just skip ahead, look at the video description for the timestamps, and don't worry about doing this part. All right, so there's the boat that we're looking for. And at the front of it, there's a SIVA fragment right there. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to orbit as soon as I get this done, just because I think it's a little bit faster, and then I'm gonna go back to orbit, and then I'm just gonna come straight down, go right back to the plague lands, just to save me from driving back the other way. So that's all I'm doing right here. All right, so once you get back here, then we're gonna head to the left. And after you do this a couple times, you're gonna get really used to this map and everything like that. So we are going to the bunker and I'll show you where a couple of them are there. So if you want to skip ahead and you know where the bunker is, just go ahead and do that. All right, so here's the bunker. All right, that building straight ahead, that tower, there's one inside of that. And there's a rear entrance. You can actually jump in the windows of the tower, but this is a little bit easier. Well, maybe. All right, so just jump in this doorway and just make your way in the top and it's right on the back of a monitor screen right there now once you go out here as soon as you get out this door you're going to head to the right and go to the bunker on the other side the wolf's held medallion is actually in the bunker behind you on that side so once you get in here head on to the right to these stairs i think i changed my jump so I got another jump right here, but you want to jump up on this pipe right here. And it's pretty easy to do, with, especially with a Warlock or a Titan. Then jump up here. And you can jump um, up on this thing right here, and there's the fragment. Now, this is, like I said, the mission for the Nightfall, the Wretched Eye, or doing the strike. You can actually um, grab another one. It's in here, and I couldn't remember. I was going to try and take you there. I think that's what I was doing right here, but then I couldn't remember exactly how to get there. So um, ignore what I'm doing right here and just wait, and uh, we're just going to head on outside. All right, so we've got four. And I'm gonna head to the divide just, just because that's the next one I can think of easy to get to. So that's where I'm heading. If you've done uh, Sepix or Sepix, that strike, there's a few of them on there. You probably have already five by now. So you can watch this or skip ahead.
All right, so we are approaching the entrance to the rocket yard. It's right to the right here. This is the rocket yard. And there's actually one in here that I know of, um, but this one requires a key. So you might not have uh, access to a key, but I'll show you where it's at. If you have access, you can go um, right over here and go into this room and there's a fragment right inside there along with a couple chests. But if you don't have that, we're gonna head to the divide where you can just get one that's laying on the ground. It's right by the old walker tank or the destroyed walker tank in the middle of the divide. So leaving the rocket town, rocket yard, rocket town, uh, and heading to the divide. And then this will be our fifth one. All right, so there's that uh, walker tank that's been destroyed. I think it's a walker tank, but there it is right in there. All right, so there's a the fifth one. You can just go back to orbit and uh, go back to Fell Winter's Peak. All right, so back at Fell Winter's Peak, we're going to talk to Lord Saladin. And he is going to give us uh, the last quest. So for this one, we're going to head to Beauty and Delivery. And this is going to be another familiar crucible map, but you'll kill everything once you spawn in there, there and then you're going to have to wait right here and just kind of defend this area and let your ghost kind of finish creating the G horn. And then that's going to be it. So this is a little bit easier with two people, but this one, um, you'll have no problem soloing it as well, but there it is. There's G horn. You'll get the little indicator to pick it up here. And then that's it. You're just going to have some walker tanks spawn in. There's going to be a bunch of heavy ammo all around. You get it at 350. If you have the black G horn, you can actually infuse it into that. You don't have to. You can keep both of them and keep one on each character. But uh, that's it. Um, after you finish this mission, you'll just go back and talk to Lord Saladin and you'll get uh, the completion of it. But you've got it in your inventory right now. Hopefully this guide helps you out. If you've got any questions or comments, make sure you leave them for me. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to tell you. Hopefully, like I said, this guide really helps you out. If it does, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If there's something that you don't like about it, please leave me some constructive criticism. But that's where I'm going to end this video. I mean, hope you guys are having fun with Destiny Rise of Iron. As always, take care and God bless.